Hey everybody, Dave from GroundCloud here. This video shows you how to set up and configure an iPad that has been enrolled in our MDM solution, our mobile device management server. And this will give you an idea also of just how simple that is if you choose to use this program of ours. Okay, here we have a brand new iPad right out of the box, right from Verizon. This has been uh, pre-configured with our MDM enrollment through Apple and this is how cool this is. So right out of the box simply turn on the device and you get the hello screen. Just hit the home button again. Next we'll pick English and United States. Right at the bottom of the screen it says set up manually. That's really the only option here so we'll go ahead and hit that. We'll ask to either choose the cellular connection, which is going to burn more of your cellular data. Better, if you can, to connect to a Wi-Fi network. So I'm going to connect to uh, a Wi-Fi network here that has no password. What we now see is the iPad saying it may take a few minutes to activate your iPad. Retrieving configuration. Okay, now we have this remote management screen. And right beneath it, it says Wendigo Logistics will automatically configure your iPad. So Wendigo Logistics, that's us. So we like that. So we're just going to go ahead and hit the next button, upper right corner. And now it's awaiting final configuration from Wendigo Logistics. Great. The only thing that we really need to enter here is an Apple ID. So I'll go ahead and enter our internal Apple ID. I'll hit the next. Agree to terms and conditions. Okay, we'll get just one little quick question about enabling location services. We will hit enable location services. And just like that, welcome to iPad. We'll just hit the get started. And from this point forward, we will start auto configuring the device. We can hit not now to this auto Apple ID verification. Notice that the apps are self-installing right in the dock. So any apps that we have configured will automatically appear. Notice on the iPad here that absolutely no other applications are even there. Not the Safari web browser, not Apple Music, not YouTube, nothing. Only the apps that have been allowed for driver use will even be visible. All right, just like that, configuration is complete. On to the next iPad.